All right, guys, here it is. It's time to wrap up after... Wow, has it been? I think it's almost been a year. Near, not quite, like nine months or something. It's been quite a while. It's time to finally wrap up Life is Strange. But if you're new around here and just clicking on this one thinking it's the beginning of a series, just be warned. This is your last chance to leave without getting spoilers because this is episode five of an episodic game. So check the playlist in the description if you want to start from the very beginning. So, to recap, we have... Max Caulfield, a art school student that suddenly has time traveling powers. We have a great calamity coming in that we don't have the clearest definition for. It's probably tied in some way to her powers, either caused by a disruption, the disruptions maybe caused by her powers, or maybe uh, this disruption has somehow caused her powers somehow. You can almost imagine that someone else in the town could even ha have some sort of weird event happening to them, and we just don't know because there's probably enough people for them to not all encounter each other all the time. Uh, we, we were trying to investigate a missing person, which led to just knowing about a straight-up murder, and then, unfortunately, our best friend, voiced by uh, Ashley Birch, Chloe, is probably very dead. Well, she's very dead in that she got shot in the head, but maybe not entirely dead because it's a game about, about time travel. We'll have to see exactly what's going to happen next. Because right now... We're probably tied up in a basement by our evil teacher in a very, like, jigsaw sort of situation, and it's not a great time to be. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Matt? has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! How? What the fuck?
wake up. Chloe? What? Where? It's in the dark room. Kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Two of us at once, this might be where he slips up. He kidnapped two of us, there might be some opportunity for us to help each other. Of course. And right in front of me. Finally, I'm free. Almost. That was way easier to get out of than I ever expected it to be. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. They've already been, we've already been drugged up and posed for photos. God. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, he made the mistake of making a photo of us. <clears throat> we can go back to this exact moment. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. You're standing in your own light, dude. You're... Are you sure you're a photographer? Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It sounds like he's planning on framing Nathan. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. 
You don't know just how gifted I am. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. I bet you get a little closer where I can grab you. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. No, no. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. That was good, though. We dumped his drugs. He doesn't have any more shots. I gotta acknowledge for a moment that this series got into a way darker territory than I initially expected it to. That we're <laughs> this whole creepy murder cave. We were just some weird friends that had like a weather phenomenon and a superpower to deal with. This serial killer thing got in a whole different territory than I thought was gonna happen for like the first two episodes or so. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. So I need access to his photos. Oh shit, can I rewind back to like, when someone else was being murdered? Can I undo all of this? Can I save Rachel at this point still? Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Sure is a good thing he doesn't know about my power. This might work. <sighs> Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. I'm sure you are. But simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world 
is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Artists don't drive teenagers to suicide for any bullshit muse. You trained Nathan to drug Kate, to take photos of her. That's why she's dead. Which makes me sad, Max. I will miss her. Kate had such a strong spirit, it was very satisfying to break it down. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Yeah, and you, just that part. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Holy For shit. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. He has, he has no idea who he's fucked with here. Come on, cool tricks. What can I do? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. I need something. We're gonna, we're gonna access by rewinding. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. Workout. What is there to do? There's nothing to move out of. I can look at the journal. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. He's just back there looking at photos. I can't move the cart. I can't get out of my Max, bonds. I wish you could see yourself now. Am I supposed to pick different dialogue options? Huh. 
Sorry. This is not art. But that's my fault, Max. How I'll get through God. I wish. I don't see a way to get to the journal. Oh. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Well, he's full-on creepy still. You better ask him something else. Yeah, we gotta ask him about the journal. I just want to see what... I, I, I missed the, the chance to speak to him when he was walking away last time, so I didn't realize that you could do that. Let's get back a little more. Obviously, we have to ask about the journal. Oh. Wait! You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Maybe if you let me go, I can be your Harlequin. And then I can do so much better. But nope, you give me the weapon I need. And he, he, it's undetectable. He has no way of even knowing what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gonna escape back to school. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. We rerun the entire week. the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. We need to talk to Victoria. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. <coughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First. art world. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition... Of all people, David's going to be the one that helps me out ultimately, isn't he? All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. This diary literally saved my life. I hope I still love photography when this is done. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. Alright, let's get busy. 
Of course David would be the person that ultimately helps me. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Mark Jefferson, after blazing a trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-publicized detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's classes on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and his students will certainly go on to inspire others with their vision. Found you. We have it. Mark... Je uh, David Mark Jefferson. I got his uh, the wrong name stuck in my head. David Madsen five 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 six three zero eight two four three six three zero eight four. That already 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 forgot it tonight. I'm sure she remembers it. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else, and take Jefferson down fast. Mr. Madsen, you're after Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson's guilty. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Apparently the local area network cable is pushing itself too hard. It doesn't hard. matter what happens to me. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Oh, shit. That's rough. So we, we have contained rooms. So we just have to assume that Max is going to still save Chloe in the bathroom because we can't get there to okay, do that Jefferson, from here. Jefferson, here's my fucking photo for the contest. Right, we, have to, we need him to have the photo, right? Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people, is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and... Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Subtle, Max. Holy shit, you're coming on a little hard there. <laughs> Let's not blow it. That's a whole- you're like, you're giving bad signals away that could be- give you, like, cause you problems for an entire week. So is she still safe? Nothing changed? So no nothing changed with Chloe. Oh. Well, that was easy. What the hell happens now? Oh shit. This time she died anyway.
After everything that happened, she just ended up being the victim that died instead of escaped. We saved Chloe, but not Kate. Or, or was that the or was that the police finding Rachel's body? Maybe Kate never got captured at all.